cops solve cold case murder of teacher after secretly snatching suspects chewing gum. Prosecutors hope they have solved the 25-year-old cold case murder of a much-loved teacher after DNA testing a piece of chewing gum from the man they believe killed her. They surreptitiously snatched the gum, and a bottle of water, that belonged to Raymond Rowe during an elementary school event last month where he was jing. Lancaster County District Attorneys now expect to charge him with the 1993 murder of Christy Mrack, who was found raped and strangled at her Pennsylvania home four days before Christmas. The popular teacher, who was 25 when she died, was found with her pants and underwear ripped away, but still wearing her jacket and gloves, according to the Washington Post. Mrack's corpse yielded a DNA sample that did not match anyone on the FBI database. However, Earlier this year detectives handed it over to genetic genealogy firm Purban Nano Labs to scan. They used GEDmatch, an open-source database of user-uploaded genealogical information, to pinpoint Roe as a suspect by helping cops build a family tree and leading to a likely killer. The entertainer, who goes by the stage name DJ Freeze, lived four miles from Mrak when she was killed. He was not a suspect in any previous inquiry into her murder with D.A. Craig Stedman speculating that victim and suspect may have known each other socially. Although Roe has yet to be formally charged, Stedman expects he will face a first-degree murder rap. Similar technology has been used in other high-profile cold cases, including the naming of Joseph James D'Angelo as the suspected Golden State serial killer. Probond Nano Labs spokesman Smore has defended the crime-solving approach amid concerns it breaches the privacy of innocent people. She said, we do not solve these cases. We provide a highly scientific tip, and law enforcement performs their traditional investigation to confirm or refute our theory. No arrests are made on our work alone. That said, our genetic genealogical technique and research on this case led right back to Lancaster and to the suspect.